There are millions of images available on the internet that you can use to make your presentations more interesting. In addition to this, you have unlimited options of drawing your own shapes. In PowerPoint 2013, you can get even more creative forming your own shapes by merging them together. Now I'll show you how you can use shapes in PowerPoint 2013 to make your slides even more attractive. Here I have a sales presentation about our video trainings. I'm going to use images, shapes, and shadows to make some of these slides a bit more interesting. On this slide, I want to add an iPad frame and add a reflection to the picture. On this slide, I want to add gear wheels to symbolize our customized training solutions. And on this third slide, I want to create a more selling ad that looks like this. Hi, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that if you're annoyed by the ads in this video, you can access our tutorials ad-free by getting a subscription to businessproductivity.com or signing up for one of our many courses on platforms such as Udemy, CyberU, and Vimeo On Demand. I also wanted to take this opportunity to tell you a bit more about Storials. Storials, which stands for Story-Based Tutorials, is our video package offering for organizations that want to increase employee productivity using Office 365. With Storials, organizations can inspire, motivate, and educate users on effective use of Office 365 by showcasing real-life best practices. Finally, I want to encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channels, Business Productivity and Storials. Here you will also find my video blog, Succeed in the Digital Workplace, as well as other videos that can help you increase your productivity. If you have any questions or comments, please post them here and I'll do my very best to get back to you. With that, let's go back to the tutorial. Thank you for watching. Let's start with the first slide. Here I have a screenshot taken from my iPad, but I'd like to show the actual image of the iPad. So I'll search for it online. I'll click Insert, Online Pictures, and then type in iPad in the Bing image source. I'll select this image and click Insert. First, I need to crop it. Under the Picture Tools on the Format tab, I'll click Crop. And then I'll move the handlebars so that they're side by side with the picture. However, the iPad has rounded corners, but the crop shape is square. If you want to crop objects into other forms than just rectangles, you can use Crop to Shape. Mark the object. On the Format tab, click Crop and then Crop to Shape. Here I'll select a rectangle with rounded corners. I'll move the little yellow marker to change the sharpness of the rounded corner. And there, now the iPad has been cropped to its proper shape. Now I'll rotate the picture by going to the Format tab, Arrange, and then clicking Rotate 90 degrees. I'll send it back one layer by clicking Send Backward and then Send to Back. I'll make it a little bit bigger by pulling the bottom right corner. If you hold down Shift when you resize, you make sure to keep the proportions of your picture. I'll fit in my screenshot into the picture of the iPad, mark both objects, right click and select to group them into one single object. Then I'll just reposition the image a bit. Now I want to add a reflection effect. To add a reflection to an object, mark the object so that the picture tools appear. Click Picture Effects and then select Reflection. Here I get a live preview of what different options look like. I'll select this one, but I want to make the reflection a bit smaller. To change the reflection settings, right click and select Format Picture. The format pane appears where you can modify the settings of your picture. I'll expand the reflection section and here I'll choose to change the size of the reflection to make it a bit smaller. There, that looks good. On this next slide I want to add gear wheels but I haven't found a good picture on the internet so I'll just create my own shapes. In PowerPoint 2013 you have more advanced options to create your own shapes by merging shapes together. I'll click Insert Shapes 
And then I'll start with a 12 pointed star. I'll hold down shift when I draw to keep the proportions. I'll make the rays a bit more pointy by moving the yellow marker down. Next, I'll insert a circle to cut off the edges of the star. To make the circle perfectly round, I'll hold down shift again. The new alignment guides in PowerPoint 2013 help me position the circle, so when I see a cross, I know that I'm in the center of the star. Now I'll mark both shapes, and under the Drawing Tools Format tab, in the Insert Shapes section, I'll click Merge Shapes. Here you have a number of different options for how to combine your shapes. You get a live preview of what happens to your shape. Here I'll select Intersect. Then I'll insert one more circle. Now I want to cut out a circle in the middle. Again I'll position the circle in the middle, mark both objects and then click Merge Shapes. And this time I'll select Subtract. And there is my gear wheel. I'll make it a bit smaller and then I'll copy it by pressing the keyboard shortcut Ctrl C and then paste it in with Ctrl V. In order to align the wheels, I need to rotate the top one a bit. To rotate an object, grab the rotation wheel by holding down the left mouse button and turn it to either side. I'll move it a bit more to fit it in better. Again, I'll press Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to paste in one more wheel. I'll align it on the other side and then I'll move all the wheels to the right side of my slide. Now I want to change the visual effect of the gear wheels. I'll mark one of the wheels and click Shape Effects, Bevel, and then select the rounded 3D effect. Now I'll change the color of the shape to white as well as the outline. Now I want to copy the same formatting to all shapes. On the Home tab, I'll click Format Painter. If I click it quickly twice, the little paintbrush appears and I can apply the same formatting to multiple objects. I'll just click on the two wheels to give them the same formatting. To remove the Format Paintbrush, I'll just click Format Painter again. There! Now on this third slide, I want to create a nicer ad for the 50% off promotion. I'll click Insert shapes and then I'll select a rectangle. I'll draw a rectangle but I want it to be more curvy. To change a shape to make it more curvy I'll click edit shape and then edit points. I'll place my mouse pointer on the line that I want to edit and then I'll hold down the left mouse button and pull to the right. You'll see two blue lines that show the direction of the curves. I can change the angle of the lines to change the curve. There, that looks good. I'll mark the shape again and go to the Shape Style Gallery to apply a nice orange effect. To add a shadow to my shape, I'll click Shape Effects, Shadow, and select this diagonal shadow. Now I need to insert the text. I'll click Insert and then Text Box. I'll draw the text box over my shape and type 50%. I'll mark the text and change the font to Arabic typesetting and then I'll change the size to make it really big. Finally, I'll change the color to white and move the text up a bit. I'll insert a second text box with the text off and resize the text by clicking Decrease Font Size on the Home tab. There! Now I want to insert a screen clipping from this web page of our PowerPoint course on Udemy. To insert a screen clip in your presentation, click Insert screenshot and then select screen clipping and here I'll just mark the part of the web page that I want to insert into my slide. I want to change the angle of the image so I'll click picture effects 3D rotation and then I can hover over the different options to get a live preview of the result. I'll select one with just a little bit of angle. I want to increase the angle a little bit so I'll right click on the picture and click format picture. I'll expand the 3D rotation settings and increase the x-axis rotation a little bit. There, that's perfect. Now I want to apply the same 3D effect of this picture of me. I'll mark the screenshot, go to the Home tab and click Format Painter. And then I'll click my picture. I'll click Arrange and bring the picture up one layer. And after a little bit of fine tuning, here we go. 
In just a few minutes, we've used our creativity and the tools in PowerPoint 2013 to make this sales presentation a lot more interesting.